This is Red All Over with me, Joe Beardsall. We are chatting at Birmingham away. Let's hope Barnsley finally got a game. Undefeated in 2022, but only because we played Barrow in FA Cup and that's it. So, not exciting. Uh, just, to, yeah. So, uh, Josh, Birmingham got smashed by Fulham. Not that, you know, that's happened quite a lot, to be fair. I think Fulham scored more goals this season in three games than we have all season. So, you know, they're not the only ones to get smashed by Fulham. But what do you reckon to this one? It seems like they're in um, a bit of free fall in a way, to be honest. They, um, I think they set off fairly well. And when we played them at home, it seemed like a pretty decent outfit, to be honest. Um, surprise, surprise, another game that we're lucky to still be in, in a way. Um, but it seems like they've it's a bit of a, sti- a sticky patch. Like They lost to Plymouth in um, the FA Cup third round and got beat by Blackburn 4-0 just before Christmas as well. So it seems like they've been fairly inconsistent. And when they have lost, it seems like they have shipped some goals as well, which we might go back above Fulham for scoring the amount, same amount of goals in a week as what we have in a season. Who knows? But I'm not going to hold my breath, given the fact that we've at, at, at the minute we've got only got 14 players available. So I'll be bringing me a couple of Mundials with me on Saturday, just in case they're a bit short on bench, you know. I'm missing taped up and that. Get some DP on just in case. I can uh, I can get a good ten minutes. I'm, I suppose I can get a good ten minutes. <laughs> well, you are cheap. You are youngish, and we've talked about needing a leader. And I know you and a good tackler and all. So to be honest, Josh, you fit criteria, mate. I'd get you in. I'd sign you up. <laughs> I'll I'll sit in at left wing back for the last ten minutes. Fly, I'll fly I'll fly up and down left hand side. Now we're just we're, we're, you're smashing people in the middle. That's what we want. Um, yeah. As always, Reds, if you can hit like, we really appreciate it. it helps uh, to get the channel out there. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell if you want to find out when all our content's coming up. Andy, we've said it many times this season when we've played teams out of form. Oh, you know, they're out of form. You never know. I might get a win here. But often it, it's just their chance to play Barnsley and get their season back on track. So what are we reckoning? Yeah, the season starts on Saturday. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, as, as Josh has said, they need to they need to be a, a, a rough patch lead lately, and you know they like us, mirrors us in some respects. Um, their fans aren't happy, but it's all relative, isn't it? You know, they've won seven, drawn seven, and lost twelve, but they've got twice as many points as us, and you know the start of the season served them better than it did us. So you know, twenty eight points to our fourteen. So you know they're not. They're not bad. They've got some decent players, you know, particularly, particularly up front. You know, they've got Scott Hogan, who, who sometimes good, sometimes not good, but he scored seven, not as much as others, but certainly more than us. Um, and, you know, Gary, uh, Gary Gardner in midfield, who was the sort of player that I think we need. And, you know, they've got him. And, of course, Mark Roberts, it's, it's it just getting ball for any throw in that's in our half at pitch. Get to Mark. I hope his arms get tired quick. Um, because... Everyone's they come to a corner or a free kick, just get to Mark to chuck in. You know, I wish we could do that. I mean, he still's not but, quite as long as Herbie Kane's or Dominic Freezer's, but he's got one hell of not many. No, not many. No, it, it, it's just it's as long as them two put together without any disrespect to them because they profess to have long throws. It really, it really is an attack, an attacking option, you know. So, and of course, they've got you know, with Troy Deeney, got Troy Deeney. And I'm not going to pronounce the other guy that plays up front for him to, to, to tumble down Lucas. I'm not going to mention his name because Lucas, because I can't pronounce his second name. And you'll take the Mickey out of me. Well, Smithy will anyway. But I'd like to see Smithy say Djukovic. Come on, Djukovic. 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 Silent J, I think. Birmingham fans, let us know. Djukovic. Oh, I'm it. You can, you can, you can uh, speak out. Is. Oh, oh, I'm down. <laughs> but they've got Troy Deeney, who's uh, good at lifting balls up into people's hands to get a penalty and all that. Crafty. A crafty player. Good player, front, though. Good player. Oh, he is. He's, Getting oh, on he's, now, but a good player. Oh, he is a good player. That's a, that's a player we could do with. You know, so him and Gary Gardner, Mark Roberts, that's the three we need. You know, just send them over. But they're not doing that well, so I don't really know. Maybe we could make an half-decent team between the two clubs. I don't know at the minute. I don't know. Oh, so I thought they were half-decent, me, when we played them earlier in the season, but... Like Andy says, it's it's gone 
They, they were, them, but yeah. they, they, they're hit and miss, aren't they? Hit and miss Birmingham. If you're listening to Mark Roberts, an own goal will be good on uh, Saturday as you did against Fulham. So, Agent we, Roberts. You know, come on, come on, ex skip. Come on, you, you can do us a favour. You know, I'm not saying, but come on, Mark, you know. We, we, we need you. <laughs> he did us a favour last time. He went and sat in stand for five minutes. I mean, <laughs> of course, play had stopped and <laughs> all that with Liam Kitchen, but he did sit down. But yeah, oh. it's, going, it's going to be tougher, isn't it? As Josh said, we've only there's only 14 players training this week. So uh, when when this goes out, if it goes out tomorrow, we might be down to 13. And if we're down to 13, then there's possibility that we'll be called off because 14 is the minimum that... Uh, You've got to have in it uh, to play a fixture uh, under the AFL rules. Uh, Maybe some coming back in all the while. I don't want another game Ooh. called off because it's going to make it even harder for us to fit games in, isn't it? So, Josh, is it good that we've had a break? Um, I mean, it's good for my mental state and probably all your lot's mental state at all. We've not played football for a couple of weeks, but I've had some lovely Saturdays. I've had some lovely weekends. We are George, you mean sorting your art? Taking you yeah, to we've we've been having nice meals nice than that. that. You know, we've had note that's ruined. We've had no Scott score lines which have ruined his day. I hope like that. It's been lovely, um, but I don't. I can't see it helping us at all. I think, especially given the only game we've played this year being Barrow, um, and no disrespect to Barrow, but it's just not the championship quality. I don't think either side of championship quality on that day, but it's not on the same level as what it is week in week out and I'll be honest first first half hour I can see there have been some real cobwebs to blow off because it's such a weird time as well it's not like you've coming from a summer off as well um like a summer break and you've like eased yourself back in like through pre-season training anything like that it's it's a weird length of time that we've had off and I don't I don't think it's gonna help us at all I mean there's always a side as well of players have more time to implement his style but then again I wasn't been able to do that if there's been seven or eight, nine, ten, fifteen. I don't know how many key players have been missing from training. So how can how can you implement a style when no one's there? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a, I'm of the thing of I think all players that were left there who were still training, they could have come on a bit, and that's still a decent chunk. I still reckon he's, he's still been doing training, hasn't he? So there's still been what maybe ten something like that, Andy. Oh dear me. Uh, it's possible, Joe. I mean, for me, the only the only hope really is that the is that the that they played this week and and got, and got hammered. And I hope that they're fed up themselves. Birmingham, I'm talking about, just so you know, um, that they're fed up having been hammered um, and are tired and uh, want to try and do well. But quickly, if it don't come off right at the start, if we can do our normal fifteen or twenty minutes without the rustiness that Josh has seen. Um, Let's hope that you know it, it could get their fans on the backs a bit, which which should help us, not them. But it really is clutching at straws. It, it, it's clutching the, at straws. The thing is, though, it can't go on forever. I know it feels like it, but it does feel like forever, doesn't it? But you no know, manager in history has gone through a full season without winning a game. Surely, I mean, what's going on? Like, Poyer's had six games now. He's got to win one sooner or later. I just, I'm, fancy, I'm, I'm fancying us for this. I think we're going to win. So it's league matches, isn't it? Uh, end, end, oh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not being funny. Al. We're not counting an extra time five four win over Barrow. We <laughs> were two win nil win up win at half time with ten men. Win. We're not counting that as his first victory. Sorry, boy. But it's, it's going to be tough again, isn't it? Uh, I can't say much. It depends. On there's 14 players. Uh, in what positions we've got players in? I mean, uh, Jack Walton might get a game uh, up front. I don't know. I just think surely everything has gone wrong for us this season. It's laugh. I'm laughing because it is laugh. You're either going to laugh or cry. It's just been so terrible. We've talked about it last year. A lot of stuff and mistakes have been made, but a lot of stuff just gone against us and all. Blooming it. We've got to win a football match, guys. It's that simple. Just get out here and blooming win. Stick that round thing into the net. <laughs> there we go. Because, Josh, it, we, we've got to do it at some point. We are losing my head. I can't. I can't cope. I can't do this show any longer. I'm going to Florida. I've had enough. I'm emigrating. We have, but it's not. It's not forced to happen for us. We've got to go and make it happen ourselves, and I think that's. Um, so we've got to. We need to go and do that. Um, hopefully, this rest in a way 
you know, giving everyone a bit of time to recharge might give us that respite that we've needed, similar to the season when we stayed up on the last day when we had, what, three, four months off. And it gave us that respite of concert playing week in, week out. And the pressure sort, sort of lifted in that sense. So maybe that, that, that could happen. I mean, looking at table... Very much clutching at straws now. Win these two games, and we'll be back above Bar- uh, back above Derby, which will be a real success for this season. Finishing above the side with minus twenty one points. Um, but then again, if we do win them two games, and then I'd think if Reading don't win, we're only two points behind them, which means we might not even finish twenty third. Twenty seconds a good goal to have, I suppose. <coughs> um, but yeah, hopefully this rest is, as well as it being a physical, it's also a mental rest of week in, week out playing, week in, week out of that losing cycle as well. So I think it's got its pluses, but it's also got its minuses. Andy, they say once you're at rock bottom, the only way is up. Well, <laughs> we're rock bottom, so... Yeah, I don't believe all that. Oh, this week's strongest club in the league, with bottom of the league, we're holding everybody else up. It's all a nonsense, isn't it? You can, you can go for it. You can you can lose even more touch and embarrass yourself even further. There's a lot worse we can do. We can go the rest of the season without winning an away match. Rest of the season without winning a match. There's lots of things that can go worse. I know I'm an happy clapper, Joe, and this is me being hey, an happy can clapper. You, can you just stop that? You're not playing into the... Is it A-down a, a down fancy who said can I go back happy to, clappers? Can I go back to being a miserable old git then? Because I'm, yeah. I'm happier there. I'm happier <laughs> there. Well, it, for me, it all depends on which 14... We can put we can put hope, you know. We're, we're hoping that the, the I know it's it's a bit tongue in cheek, but it's our best fourteen because if it's our worst fourteen that turns up, it could be very embarrassing, because you know square pegs in round holes and all that all over it could be all over the pitch with only fourteen players. If there was a time in this last week to bring a player or two players in, and I'm not saying they've not worked on it, it, it sounds from yesterday that that maybe we have been doing. It's now because we. But I don't think we should just get anybody just for the sake of it, but we really are losing touch if we just have 14 players and we don't they're gonna let, let let's where can you play? Can you play at left back? Can can you play right mid, midfield? Can, well, how do you fancy that? If it's getting to that stage, then there's little hope or no. Oh, well, we might as well bring Mark a shot back. <laughs> just give him a oh, ring, see if it's free at weekend. <laughs> Get Jose back. He, he'd see us right. He'd, he'd believe. He'd believe. He would believe. He'd got the belief believe. or capacity to uh, get a team together. Do you think this is going to be the worst season we've ever had? I mean, it's the worst yeah. season we've ever had in my time. And I know I'm only 20, 28, going on 29, but I can't Oh, no, we've, seen, like we've seen much worse. Have you? Much worse than oh, let, us I mean, know, let us know, Reg. What you, have you, if you've oh, seen yeah. much worse. It's a long time ago, man. So, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I've never supported us as being whipping boys at league. No. Like I've never, oh, right, I've, bought, yeah. I've never seen us be that. This is the first time I've seen well, that. Cause... We have, haven't we? We've, we've been in past uh, several times. We've been been and seen it, but it, it, it's been been a tag. It's been uh, a bouncy fan. It's ups and downs, swings and roundabouts. We've lacked why quality in past, but I don't remember has been like this. Like Jeff says, why can't we just do? I don't normal? remember seeing. Why can't we have? A, why can't we have a steady season? Why have we always got to? We're always at an extreme or one end. We're either last season we're extremely good, or this season we're not. Like we've never got like a, oh we're fourteen from mid table and last six games don't even matter. There's always something to play for. Never boring. No, I've seen I've seen as much worse than this, but it's a number of years ago, Joe. But what I haven't seen, and it pains me to say, is that even even team even players in the past that have not been very far from very good and re, and some some of them you thought. How have they ever been foot, you know, been scouted as footballers? Um, they've shown grit, and they've you know they've got stuck in. They've tried to make up for it. It's not been good enough at times, but they show grit. So I, you know, we can reel off about seven players in our squad, maybe eight in my personal view, that at this minute could be really good, maybe nine. But they've got to have that grit, and we're not showing that that grit because we haven't got. And I'm, I'm sick of saying it. We haven't got that person around them to lead them into getting stuck in. I'm not saying we need a Vinnie Jones, God help us. We've got a long throw as well. But, you know, somebody that can drive on. And, you know, we've all said that. And that that's where it's, for me, going real bad. Mistakes at the back through young players, but we're not we're not controlling games at all. We're 15 mm. minutes where we look all right. And then we go back to, we can't even 
pass it to a player. Yeah, it's about man put three passes together without losing possession. It's embarrassing, that, isn't it, when that's happening? I mean, at the end of the day. I always believe that football's played mostly with this. I mean, you've got to be fit and, you know, you've got to be able to play, but it's mostally with your oh, brain just, and your just, mentality. Trust me, it's not. When you get to mine and Alan's age, it's not It's not mostly played with this. <laughs> but you, you know <laughs> what I mean? There's a bit more to it than that, trust me. I'm hoping that it'll it'll teach them something this season and they'll learn a bit, of, they'll learn from it, but they need to learn from it quick because just to change your mentality, it's just going back to basics. You're just playing a game of football like you've done all your lives. I know you get all stuff, you get all negativity, you hate fans having a go at you, telling you you played a bad pass and all that, and that includes us, but we're always going to be constructively critical. That's fans for you. But just you've just got to go out and in, try and enjoy it. As, I know it's horrible, it's sad to say, but you've got to enjoy it. But be determined, be angry. What's that Neil Warnock saying? Like? You, look, you sound exactly like him. You need to enjoy yeah. it out there, but enjoy it by being, by being, by being disciplined. disciplined. Yeah. Exactly, but that's what it is, isn't it? It's that, come on, you do it with a smile on your face, but woman, go yes, out and you win, on, be a I've winner. Got I've got dinner to cook, come on. Oh, man. he's always bothered about snap. <laughs> Shut up, pal, I'm going to speak you, to you. It's you. Fine, Get fine. Working. I've got to cook dinner. Fine. Right, Reds, predictions. We're doing this predictions competition. It's only just launched pretty much, so if you're not doing it, don't worry, get in. All you got to do is predict your scoreline for each Barnsley game on each show. Uh, you will win if you are top after, um, I think it's about 13 games, it ends Barnsley versus Middlesbrough. Um, you will win a £60 uh, voucher for the club. That isn't a voucher where you have to buy a burger in minimum spend, by the way. That's just, we'll just pay 60 quid so you can get a new shirt or whatever you want. We, d- we would have done a shirt again, but they're running out of stock because it's getting into it's in New Year. So, you know, we'll just, I think you can buy like, gift vouchers so it'll be like that so yeah let us know you know when you say it's a 60 quid voucher joe yeah is it actually a 60 quid voucher or is it a a book up to 60 quid a voucher you can buy i think you can buy 10 or last time i did it you could buy 10 ones so a 10 pound voucher or 20 pounds i just i would just buy three 20 pound vouchers and gear three and they usually last for about a year or something like that you could have spend them at club shop so obviously you could wait till new kit comes out or buy whatever you want really that makes sense. You don't have to buy a shirt to get ten pound off it from our voucher. No, it's a proper, no. it's a proper full price yeah. voucher. You can you say, "Here, you are, there's yeah. me sixty quid." Yes, yeah. you can go in club shop and buy a, what you want with good. sixty quid. That's good. And if you're concerned, that's I'll good. just get sixty quid, and we'll go to shop, and you can buy what you want. So that's that. That's how you clarify a voucher scheme. There you go. <laughs> so sixty quid. Um, so that's the prize if you win. You need to get your predictions in every week uh, for every Barnes again between now and Barnsley versus Middlesbrough. It will include. Probably most of the cancelled fixtures if they're rearranged within that time period as well. I know it's a bit awkward with the time. Um, and you get a point if you get win, draw, or loss. You get three points if you get the correct score line. So if you say Barnsley are going to win 2 1 away at Birmingham and they do, you will get three points. If you say they're going to win 2 1, um, but they win 1 0, you'll get a point. And if you get it wrong, you get note. So no points. Um, simple as that. Right, Josh, finish us off. Uh, sure, let's do predictions. What are we reckoning then? Are Barnsley going to? Get the first league win under Poyer, first uh, league win this this year, third no, league win all season, first away win this season. Two nil Birmingham, two nil Birmingham. I'm off for for a change. There is, Andy. I like how you noted it down. That's professional. Good for you. I am. Mate. Well, I have to. Well, the alternative, Joe, is that I, I can't try and keep it all in my head. What what you three say? So if I don't know that, it means I've got to watch this back to get what you are say. And that's, you know, it's not bad for this for this show. But if we did it last show, God help me. Um, no, I'm going for two one, two one, Birmingham, obviously. Birmingham, yeah, okay. Oh, Alan, how cheery are you feeling? Well, you're not because you're hungry. You want your tea, but about Barnsley, oh, I'm going with gut feeling, two nil with Josh. Oh. Sensible, Al. Sensible. Come on, Joe. Come on. Pull it out, Joe. The, the, lack, of it. the lack of chocolate is doing my brain. Um, I've, I'm clearly off my rock. Joe, I'm a I'm diabetic. Really... Welcome to my world. Oh, this is what it's like, Joe. I just need chocolate. This is what it's like. I need chocolate. It's been how many days? 20. I'm doing you, Andy. It's 20 days. 20 days since I thought oh, we had chocolate. Can you 1994 for me, Joe. Barnsley. No, I could not a few days. Barnsley 2 1. I have vegan chocolate instead. Oh. We're going to win. Barnsley 2 1. It's the sugar put content, that, Josh. Put that down as a zero. I won't even bother writing that, that one what down. Did said, what did you Barnsley say, Joe? I said, what did you say? Barnsley are going to win this football match by two goals to one. 
I'll Ever never the optimist, out. aren't you, Mr. Beardsall? Ever the yes, optimist. Yes, there you go. I want to bother writing well done, that down, Andy. I want to bother well waste, wa- wasting ink that. Right. I'll explain why before we finish. Oh, here we Bir- go. Birmingham, we got a bit, you know, they got a good, good, good chunk in by Fulham in midweek, which I know they're not only ones, Birmingham fans, don't get too upset with me, but you did. They've not been playing that well. Like you said, they won't decline. We're rock bottom. It can't get any worse. <laughs> so Andy thinks it can, but I don't think it can. I think it can't get any worse. Something's got to give. We've got to win a football match. This is the football match we're going to win. I hope you're right. When I'm wrong, you can all laugh at me, which I'm sure you will be doing. But anyway, there we go. So I've heard they're not very happy with their owners as well. So I don't know if that's true or what's in that. I don't really know, but you know, so I'll not get. I can hand on out, said Joe. If we lose 2 1, like I predicted, I'll not be happy about any of it. I'll not be happy that, oh, I've, correct, I've done the correct score. I'll not be happy at all. So I'll be happy if you're right. That's the only thing that will make me happy if you're right. I just can't believe that we can go full season without getting a few more results. It's just, you know, it's just unthinkable. I'd it's be happy if we lost 2 0. I'd be happy with three points. If I'd have said to you guys, right, look, before we finish up, if I had said to any <laughs> of you lot, right, when we finish, when we finish fifth, Last season, if I'd have said to you, right, by next January, we're only going to have two wins. You'd have been like, what? We only You're lost right, Mowat. Right? We only lost Mowat, Chaplin and Solbauer. But when I'm saying only, it sounds like, actually, we lost three absolute huge players for us in that. But it's just crazy. It's just crazy. How the heck are we two wins? I just don't get it. It's gone because across. the heart was taken away from our football club, on it? Not just on the pitch, Joe, it were off the pitch as well. We lost everybody that that coached them and whatever and picked them and all that. It, it was the whole thing. It all, from top to bottom, it all went. We're starting from scratch. So it, it shouldn't be, in great scheme of things, I don't suppose it should be a great surprise, particularly as we we appointed a, a, a really poor head coach. Um, and, you know, we, we're reaping the rewards of that. And it's I, I feel for Poya because what, what can he do? The only thing he can do... There's something in this transfer window, and I hope he's been he's been telling people what he wants. I don't know. I don't know if he thinks it's not to do with him. If it is, then he's not the man for me. If he just says it's not to do with me, let us somebody else. I, you know, I just do this. That's not good enough at all. But if he does, and they don't come through, they don't come through for him. Then there's no ticking. That that's that's fair enough. Poor but bloke, sure. and then, lads, he's on hiding to note, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. I don't think he'd be coming out at press saying that we're only signing young and cheap players if he were totally happy with it. I think he's probably come into a really bad situation. And I know some fans are saying, oh, six games in, I'm writing him off because he ain't going to win. I get it. But we said before he came in that whoever came in, it was going to be an absolute massive job. I feel for him. But I've heard on Grapevine that players like him and have got a lot of respect for him from what I'm hearing anyway, whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. But they definitely haven't been coming out at press getting belters like, I think Marcus shot belters, but we could definitely read into the fact that they weren't happy with him. Well, so, who knows? Who knows? I, mean, I like Smithy. A bit. I like Smithy a lot, but you know he's still got short arms and long pockets. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> we'll see, Reds. We'll see. Let us know what your predictions is. Let us know if you got any other thoughts or comments because the comments always help the show, and we always love to engage with you anyway. And we will catch you on Sunday morning for our reaction since it's away game. So we'll see you Sunday morning, you Reds.